Sometimes you spend more time setting up to do something than the chore itself takes or the procedure. I needed to run one panel with a cove slant race for a wainscoat setup I'm doing. I only needed one panel and I have dedicated shapers already set up with three different uh, raised panel slant. One is a slant, one is an angle, and one is a, a slant with a double bead on it. Uh, this one I needed a cove to match a client's uh, walls that they already have set up. So I took this old Powermatic shaper, it's got a 5 horsepower motor on it which is more than enough to run their wing cutter. It's a three wing cutter on here to do a, um, a cove slant and a cove race. At any rate, I just made this temporary, I took a couple pieces of plywood, chopped it up, as you can see here, used duct tape to help um, contain some of the dust. And it's not a permanent setup. I would never do this if I had uh, any intentions of running a lot of these but just to run one of them. And I probably didn't need this on here. This is just kind of a safety to watch my fingers. So. At any rate, this is the fun you have in a cabinet shop. This is a double, it's MDF, medium density fiber board, but this is called double refined. And it's a lot more expensive and a lot heavier than regular MDF that you would buy. And if you ever bought MDF in your local Home Depot, Lowe's, Lumber Yards or whatever, they, they don't carry this stuff. Um, this is much more dense. And if you're painting, it's beautiful. It really comes up smooth. I mean, you can't see it or feel it, but this is just as smooth as the face itself, right? And it will, it won't just keep a, if this was regular MDF and you went to spray this, you'd have to put about 20 coats on here for it to finally, because it'll just keep absorbing the paint and um, like a sponge. But one shot on this and it's it just like hitting the face. So it works pretty good for, for panels, right? So yeah, there, the point wasn't to show you panel, it was, I'll come over here with the camera, yeah, that took me what, all of one minute, but it took me about a half hour, I got my cell phone set up on this tripod here, yeah, you can see what I did here, um, Basically, I've got a piece of plywood here, and you can't see underneath, but there's a big arch cut out in it, like this, for the cutter. It's a three-wing carbide cutter. And then I simply screwed two blocks of wood on either side, bored an inch and a half hole here for the spindle with the nut, and I left it projecting out, just to kind of give me a little bit of safety on my fingers here. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Let me get down. 
There's the cutter in there. All right. Yeah, sometimes it takes longer. Yeah, half a roll of duct tape. Sometimes it takes longer to set up to do a procedure than the procedure itself. Um, that's it for when you have these one off. Okay, so yeah. So this is the slant race, or a cove race, all right? I had this cutter actually made up for a job years ago. Um, I had to do, I had to duplicate some doors um, to match a factory kitchen, a stock kitchen cabinet door some, from somewhere, I don't know. It was a huge cherry kitchen. I had to make about 40 doors, and I think we had 37 drawer faces. But I had this cutter made up. Uh, I want to say it was about $400, and that was back in the 80s to have that three-wing carbide cutter set up. All right. I'm going to say goodbye. Bye, all.